I want to continue where the Honorable Conwis Maynard left off. And to some extent, he was giving you an idea of the future that labor wants to create. Sounds good, right? Yes. Labor did it already, yes. and labor can do it again. Yes. And what we did already, we're going to improve on it and take Sinkits to the next level. Yeah. This is the next gen SKN. Yeah. And so tonight I want to touch a bit on the health issue. But before I go there, I saw a young man this afternoon. And when I saw that young man, my heart really sank. I could not believe what he was saying to me. He had been beaten black and blue to his chest. The bruises, the pain. When you see I mean, it, it, it was really brutal, brutal. I know that on Wednesday, I had spoken about we can be tough on crime, but we don't have to be brutal and inhumane. I believe that we should be tough on crime, but I don't believe we should be inhumane at the same time. The young man explained he was rendered helpless as he received the end of a rifle to his chest and to his side. Ribs, muscles, chest wall, lungs, close to the heart. And the mother explained to me that he cries from time to time. He cries. And the reason why he cries is because he could not believe he was handcuffed and beaten like that. And what I want to say tonight is that this matter needs a full investigation. A full investigation. The country must know what has happened to this young man and let the facts fall where they may. Because I believe in fact finding also. I would like to say that when brutality or excessive force becomes part of the formula, you will fail. It failed in Jamaica because we all know about the massacre that took place in Tivoli. It failed. It continues to fail in the United States as we see how black men are treated and brutalized and shot innocently just for being black. It has failed throughout history. And if this is the way we plan to do it here, it will fail here. I know that most of the police officers and those in the armed forces are good people. Most are, we have to admit it. But what we would like to say is that those who would carry out activities like these, this must end. And you know what hurts? About a year ago, the Prime Minister stood up and he said to the people in law enforcement, he said, rough them up. You all remember that? Yes. Rough them up. Yes. Well, how is it a prime minister can say to the police and those who are in law enforcement that they should just go out and rough up people? Meet a young man in Keys. When I was through there the other night, 
He said, Doctor, do you know what just happened to me? I had on a short army pants. He said, they wash me and they pull it off and tell me go home. I had to go home in just my underwear. I mean, we cannot allow this as a country. We can be tough on crime, but we do not have to be inhumane. And so therefore, I want to make a call to those who are in law enforcement, to the RSS that has come to our country, that we are hearing the reports of brutality, and we are saying that this is absolutely not necessary in our country today. We ask it is unacceptable. We ask that you be tough on crime. We ask that you solve the issues that we are dealing with. But at the same time, we are asking you to respect people's human rights and their human dignity. Must be respected. For a country that does not respect human rights or human dignity, does not respect life itself and will end up to be no country at all. And so I just want to move on now to the issue of health care. And I wouldn't be too long tonight, but I want to give you an idea of what we will do in health. Because I want you to know something, it's all about you. It's not about me, not about any politician here. The policies that we put forward, the new vision that we put forward, it's all about you, the people of St. Kitts and Nevis. The Prime Minister got on the radio, and I think he was on Michael Powell's show. And he said, Dr. Drew speaks about the MRI all the time, but Dr. Drew sends most people to do MRIs. And I want to deal with that tonight because he wants to continue this corrupt practice in the healthcare sector and trying to shift blame instead of dealing with it. The MRI is situated, you know, at the biomedical center, AKA Monkey Farm. And so everybody knows who is the manager for that MRI. It is Mr. Nisbet, Akilah Nisbet's husband, who is in charge of that. Family member. And so what happens here is that each time anybody wants to do an MRI and you go to the insurance company, they are telling you that the insurance company will not pay for you to travel overseas. I want you to understand that clearly. The flight from here to Antigua is roughly $800. I think Leal got a special and he might come down to $400. But $800 to travel to Antigua. When you get to Antigua, you have to take a taxi to the imaging center, the MRI wherever they have it. And there are multiple options in Antigua. Except none of the MRIs in Antigua is shared with any primates or experimental monkeys. That is the difference. And so everybody who wants an MRI, they are forced to go over there. Because the insurance company telling them, we're not going to pay for your flight, we're not going to pay for the taxi, and we're not going to pay for anything in Antigua. We might only cover 80% of the cost for the MRI. So for you to go to Antigua to do an MRI, it will cost you an extra 1,000 EC dollars at least. And they're not going to cover it. So what do you think most people do? Most people go over there. Most people go over there. They are forced to go over there. Because the insurance company is telling them they're not going to pay for them to go on to any other country to get the MRI done. And why do you think that is so? Why do you think that is so? Because, of course, there is financial interest in it for them. And so at your expense, they are becoming 
multi-millionaires. And you know what's bad about the MRI? None of the kitchen radiologists is allowed to read the MRIs. The MRIs are read by a company out of the United States. You have two qualified radiologists here in Dr. Mark Hodge and Dr. Ewen Clark. And they're not even given the job to read the MRIs sent overseas, so the money leaving here to go overseas. But I want the people to listen carefully and look at the prices for the MRI. You all see the prices for them? The price for MRI is more than your salary per month. So how is it the petition public is supposed to be able to afford that? But there's a solution. Labor has the solution. In next-gen SKN, the solution will be put forward. And the solution would be a brand new, up-to-date MRI machine will be placed at the JNF under the next St. Kitts Nevis Labor Party administration. And we have already discussed that the prices for the MRI will come down significantly. They will not cost a whole month salary. Imagine you, sometimes I have patients, since you want to talk about patients. And I say you need an MRI. And two and three weeks after, they're telling me, boy, Dr. Joe, I'm trying to save up the money. I'm trying to save up the money. Can't get an MRI done for very important diagnostic purposes to find out what is sick with. And so, I want to tell the Prime Minister, that solution that you have for these people of St. Kitts and Nevis is no solution at all. That is to enrich some and at the expense of the health of others to make them impoverished. And so we are saying a new MRI machine up to date at the hospital costs significantly reduced and guess what? You don't have to share no MRI machine with no experimental monkeys. Forward. You know why they're forward? Send a letter. This is what I'm supposed to say. Since the Prime Minister won't discuss MRI, I'm going to discuss it tonight. From the general manager, Nisbet, animal use policy. This is public now because I have to discuss this with patients. Animal use policy. After an animal would have been used or would have been placed on the MRI, it will be clean with, I think, is 70% bleach. So after the animal use it, they are saying to me that I can have confidence because they're going to wipe it down with very high concentration Clorox. That is what they're saying to you officially. Animals, and then when you want to use it, they have to wipe it down with Clorox so that it will be so-called clean enough for you to use it. You think that should be the solution for modern day St. Kitts and Nevis? That can't be it. The next gen SKN ain't about that. Brand new MRI machine at the hospital. No use with animals. Cost reduced. Early detection of diseases and implementation of medication or treatment that will save your life. Can you imagine you're in ICU and you need an MRI and you got to go catch an ambulance and get the ambulance to go over there? Next thing you know, the ambulance passing through keys, boom, they might get in an accident. You're in there in an accident and the MRI machine. I mean, things can happen. But if you're going to build a country, a modern country, and better can be done, it must be done. Must be done. And that is why we need the MRI machine there at the hospital. The other thing that I want to touch on is that you are hearing... Eugene Hamilton talking about national health insurance. I said before the elections that putting Eugene Hamilton in charge of national health insurance 
is like putting a rat to guard the cheese. How can you put an insurance man to implement a program like this when in his field, all he's thinking about how to make a dollar, but a national health insurance plan is completely opposite. As a matter of fact, I told him, do not call it national health insurance. It should be termed universal health care for all of the people of St. Kitts and Nevis. Words got meaning. So when we in labor are thinking about it, we're not thinking profit. We are thinking, how can we really care for our people here in St. Kitts and Nevis? You see him deliver anything yet? Because Eugene Hamilton wanted to take the approach of private insurance to national health insurance. And that is why it cannot come off the ground. Every year coming, every year coming. You hear, can we start more, sweetie? The man going to try to give you sweetie national insurance just before the elections, knowing well he has not been able to implement it. Totally lost. But I will say to you, as we did in our last manifesto, and Labour had started it already. The civil servants had already gotten their health insurance. It was moving to cover the people of St. Kitts and Nevis. This is not no pipe dream that they're talking about. We are talking about reality and a government and a party that can deliver for the people of St. Kitts and Nevis. And that is why we say in the next gen SKN, we will have universal health care for our people here in St. Kitts and Nevis. The next thing that we'll have is definitely we'll upgrade our clinics to make sense. And you'll have a next-gen SKN hospital. You hear what I just said? And the leader has referred to it. I want to say that again. We will have a next-gen SKN hospital here in St. Kitts and Nevis. Not when rain fall, it beating in on, on, on the patients, and the water leaking through the roof. Somebody asked me the other day, how can St. Kitts be building? And, 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 and Ricky is here. Ricky brought, of course, was part of the mechanism that brought all these beautiful hotels to St. Kitts. How can we have all these beautiful hotels and when you go to the hospital, water leaking through the roof? Is that right? And that is why we say that we have to have a next-gen SKN hospital. And it's coming for you, for the, uh, the good people of St. Kitts and Nevis. We will have electronic health record throughout the whole country. You know, sometimes you go to a doctor, and the doctor look at your record, and you say, doctor went up to the hospital, you know. And you say, well, what medication they give you all up there? And the patient said, oh, doc, it was a white tablet, and a blue medicine, you know. But me ain't sure what it is. And the doctor in there scratching the head because he wants to make sure he understand what you were treated with. With electronic health record, where we will connect all the doctor's offices, we will connect all the health centers, and connect to the pharmacies and the hospital. So that if you go to Miscare, and you buy some medication, and you go visit your doctor, if you can't remember the medication name, the doctor will be able to punch on his computer and your medication will come up. That is the next gen SKN in healthcare. They ain't got no ideas over there. But I believe, I want to touch one more thing, two minutes, and I'm timing myself here, two minutes, that when it comes to research and medical research, you all heard about the stem cell. I tell you, they can't do nothing. Anything they touch, they create trouble and problems because they ain't know how nothing work. They don't understand how to implement protocols to ensure that we have good research here in St. Kitts and Nevis. I want the people to be clear that this St. Kitts and Nevis Labour Party is a progressive party. We believe in research. We believe in research. But we believe that research has to be done in the proper environment, governed by medical ethics 
and legislation to ensure that we protect people here in St. Kitts and Nevis. They had a stem cell and a herpes research that took place here. Lots of money passed under the table. People in government got money. I'm very sure of that. And for a dollar, they allowed plasma or blood to come into our country from Brazil. Never tested. And we know Brazil has a lot of diseases. Diseases, if I call the name, you ain't gonna even know what I'm talking about. Some of the diseases, all I do is read about them in a medical book and answer the question on an exam. Never see them in my life. And they allow that blood and that plasma to come into our country. Pass the CMO office. Pass customs. In the hospital, on the private ward. And our nurses have to interact with that blood or plasma, infusing it in people who they don't even know because they were forced to do so. But our country can allow that. Can be right. And that is why I say the Honorable Eugene Hamilton and the Honorable Wendy Phipps, they need to resign. In any other country, that could not happen. It is a violation, a violation of morals in the medical field. Ethics gone down the drain. You know why it's immoral? You're offering people a pipe dream that you're going to cure them and you don't even know exactly what you're giving them. Unethical and illegal too. Because before any blood product is given to anybody on our soil, I don't care where they come from, it must have gone through the proper testing and evaluation to ensure that we are not getting people sick here in St. Kitts and Nevis. But you know what they call St. Kitts and Nevis under this government for medical research? The nasty kind of medical research. We give people all kind of things and you don't look back as long as the money is right. They call us a progressive jurisdiction. You know what that mean? No laws down there. This is a banana republic. You go down there, you inject people with what you want and nobody really cares. That is why the people for the herpes came here. Because they knew what happened with the, the stem cell that nobody down here cares. Just pass a dollar and you could go down into St. Kitts and research and inject who you want. And there's nothing wrong with that according to this government. And so in the next gen X SKN, we're going to have research. Good research. Proper research. Send your children to school to study science. Because when research gets on the way here, we're going to want scientists to be studying cancer. Parkinson's disease, dementia, heart disease, all these things that are killing us here in St. Kitts and Nevis, we're going to need our people as scientists to start to research them. No longer we will go to medical labs and be the, the, the floor sweepers and the dishwashers and the grass cutters. We will become researchers also to create, of course, medicine and breakthrough scientific research so that the world and our people can benefit. And so, as I wrap up tonight, I want the people of St. Kitts and Nevis to know that this is just an entry into the new vision that we're going to start to create for healthcare, health care, re health-related research, so that you can know that it's all about you. When we sit down to discuss, we don't discuss how we're going to benefit us. We discuss how it's going to best benefit you, the good people, of St. Kitts and Nevis. Because in the next gen, SKN, St. Kitts will once again become number one in the OECS. Thank you.